today I am plotting out my solar panel install. Let's take a look. I've laid the entire kit out here um, in the configuration that I think I'm going to set it up on my roof. Nope. 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 I bought these for brackets, which I'm going to have to measure and cut off. These are the mounting. They slide on my rails, and then this will mount onto here. These mount onto here with these brackets. Because I've got my skylight, I had to buy an extension cable that's going to connect these two together. Um, these are the screws that we use to mount the solar panels to the brackets. Down here we have the connector wires. This is the inline fuse. And then this is the entry gland that I'll be placing up on the roof of the van that these two cables will go into and come down into the van. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do actually is wash the roof of the van. That honestly was more than I intended to do, but when I got up there, a couple of things. My beautiful maple tree is uh, dripping sap on the roof and the sides of the van, so I, I need a garage. I say that all the time. But anyway, um, the roof rail tracks were full of debris. Um, you know, I've never, probably never scrubbed them out since I put them on a year or two ago. So yeah, that was worthwhile. I scrubbed that out and should be able to slide the mounting brackets in there without any issues now. Worth it. Okay, and that's done. Next, we're gonna slide in the brackets and measure the placement. Okay, sounds good. So this is the forwardmost solar panel. This is the front of the van facing this way. So I'm gonna take all four of those brackets and slide them into the roof rails, and then I'm gonna measure the bars and cut the bars. This is a close-up of how these brackets fit into this rail. They just slide in like that. Slide all the way down. Nice. And then you tighten them up, obviously. You get them where you want them. And we're going to slide those two down to that area right there. I did have to tighten down a couple of these to get to get the uh, brackets to slide by. This is one of them. Looks like they're actually a little bit, they need to be tightened. There we go. Those two are in place. Now I'm going to go around to the other side and put the other two in place. All four of those are in place. Now I'm going to go get my cross beams and see where they best fit. I might bring a panel up here. It's a really windy day though. Crazy windy. So I don't know if that's a great idea carrying one of those around or not, but definitely want to get the beams and make sure they fit. Coming to you from top of my ladder. I have tested a lot of different solar configurations on my roof and I think I've settled in on one. Um, I had hoped to put three back there, but one of them will absolutely overhang and it hits the backup light. I can't get two in here because you need 42 inches. This is like 39. Um, so I'm going to do one here, one here, one here. But what that means is I have to buy four more mounting brackets and two more of these. But that's no problem if I can get, oh, and I have to buy um, longer cables to connect these together. So none of that's a problem. It's just going to delay my install a little bit until I can get those products. But this is totally going to work. And I actually, I'll like the look of it. We'll have one there, one in the middle, and one there. I'm going to move those back a little bit, but I got to have room in that back corner for the solar entry gland. So this is great. Let's check in. I've done that. Measured placement. I've done that. Originally, I was thinking I was going to cut holes in those pieces of metal that I bought, but I don't need to. So we're past that. We're down here. We're down to cut bars. That's where we are now. I've got to actually cut the bars to length. Um, and then... We'll be able to mount the solar panel onto the bars and then put them up there. So next step, we got to cut those metal bars. Okay, I've got my cutoff tool and I've got everything marked here. 
So I'm going to cut both of these bars off and we'll get our first solar panel up. Yay! One down, one to go. That was fast. Get my file now and file out those edges. So when I got up there and had everything marked out and I had uh, these mounting brackets that come with the solar kit, they really didn't work and I don't really need them. So what I'm going to do or what I'm doing actually is I'm going to mount this, I don't know what this metal stuff is called. My son-in-law had a name for it, Unistrut or something like that. I don't know what it's called. I just see things in the hardware store and I go, oh, that could work. Anyway, I'm just going to mount that directly to the solar panels. It's a great fit. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, they included some self-tapping screws, which I think um, might, I don't know if they intend those to be used to screw down to your van. I think it's intended to be used to screw down to the roof of your van, and I'm not doing that. So I'm just using them to fix these bars, these unistruts, I'll call them, um, I'm putting one in each corner, and then I'm going to drill holes through here and use the bolts that they included to also bolt them on. Um, and uh, that's perfect. I think I'm ready to get one solar panel up on the roof. I can't tell you how many times I've been up and down the ladders, <laughs> but this is what it takes. Let's do it. Let's get it up there. Get some gratification. I think I'm not going to snug these down all the way because when I install the others, I might have to slide these to fit. So this is what we've got. Seems like it's going to work. Looks good. Nice and snug. I like how trim it is. And like I said, I really like these. I love the way they look, too. And then if anything ever happens to my solar panels, I can take them off. A lot of people, you know, put them, glue them to the roof or screw them in, but I like this solution a lot better. One solar panel installed. Woohoo! Solar panel number two up. This one's on the front end of the van and it is butted right up against the, the end caps and it just fits within the fan there. It's perfect. So I bought a connector cable that's four feet long. The cables are just sitting underneath there. And uh, I guess I'll have to do the other two another day because I have to get parts and I'm waiting for a shipment. But good progress. Really just nice and sturdy. Love it. Well, I'm just noticing what it looks like from the front now. We got a new look. That's fine. Looks good. I'm getting ready to drill the hole for the solar entry gland that'll go right up in there. So I'm just hanging up a piece of cloth to catch the metal filings that'll fall once I start drilling. I'm still waiting for additional mounting brackets to arrive in the mail. I'm hoping they come today. Nope. 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 But I've positioned my solar panels up here so I know where I can place the solar uh, entry gland. So I've got that all marked out. I'm going to drill right there and then this will sit right here. There we go. I cut a one inch hole. Um, what I'm going to do now is file those edges and then spray paint that so that you know, with primer so that we don't get any rust, but I'm gonna hurry down and get my vacuum and clean up all these shards. I think I'm gonna go hit that from the inside angle. Doesn't seem like I can get it. Feels good and smooth on this top part, but uh, we don't want any sharp edges on there. Um, 
as we're uh, putting cables in there. So I'm gonna hit that from the inside a little bit too. We're gonna let that paint dry a little bit and then we'll come back and mount the solar entry gland right over that hole. By the way, if you wanna know, I just used flat white paint and primer. Man, the weather is really starting to change and it's happening fast. Look at the trees uh, and the temps have dropped too. I was in the shower this morning and I heard it start to rain and I have the solar panels sitting up on the roof, but they're not connected yet. So I ran up and put plastic bags around the connectors. I've read that those connectors, when they're together, they're very watertight, but you know, open, you don't want rain going into the end of those connectors. So I hope I caught everything in time. I took a piece of landscape plastic and threw that up on the roof. Um, like I said, it had just started to rain, so hopefully it's early enough. And I did have a few of the connectors connected. Um, I've checked with Amazon the order that I put in for the additional um, roof rail brackets. is supposed to arrive next week, and I've also recruited the help of my son-in-law, who's going to help me lift those two final solar panels that will be mounted as one unit. He's gonna help me lift those up on the roof next week. So I think for today, I'm gonna to say goodbye and we'll check in with part two next week. Winter is coming, have a good week.